Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is FTV here for FTV Productions, of course. And uh, today I'm back with a Photoshop tutorial. And this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create this very cool looking, uh, they call it the chameleon effect. And uh, it says your own opinion, and uh, they look so cool there. So I decided to make a tutorial on that. So, so let's start right in. We're going to open up Photoshop and create a new document that is 1000 by, let's see, this time 400 pixels and now we click on OK and uh, that's a very, uh, no, image kind of a canvas and we go over to our foreground color and uh, we change that to, uh, let's say, D78900 and uh, that's just a color code, we'll click OK and we'll grab the paint bucket tool if you click and hold you'll see this menu pop up and you can select the paint bucket tool from here and uh, we're going to dip the canvas in that color very cool and then we're going to grab the text tool and we'll change the color to 463100 and uh, that's just a color code and uh, and I'm just using Tahoma at uh, 250 points I'll just type in your and I'll uh, probably make it bold. I'm sorry. I'll make it bold from here. Oops. Whoops. I'll make this bold at last. And I'll position it uh, maybe here and here somewhere. Yeah, perfect. And then what we're going to do is click and hold on this lasso tool and select the polygon lasso tool. And I'm going to click here somewhere outside hold on shift to make a straight line maybe around here I'll click there then I'll make a straight line again click there and I'll move it aside and I'm doing all this holding on shift and uh, then I'll just you know close it back here just like that and then uh, I'm gonna fill this color fill this in uh, with you know and I'm gonna select this paint bucket tool from click and hold paint bucket and uh, we just click here to, and it's asked rasterizing, I'll click OK and that way it rasterizes it and I'll click on this and fills in for color and if you hit Control D it's going to deselect the area and uh, your text looks good there then what we're going to do is create a new layer and on that layer we're going to take the text tool and we're going to type in, let's say own and uh, this one is going to be around uh, 150 pixels large and it's going to be black and I'll position it maybe somewhere around here and now we're going to apply a lot of effects to this text so let's start, we're going to right click, go to blending options so the first thing we're going to apply is a drop shadow and we go to here and uh, we change, take the blend, uh, blend mode, change that to multiply and in the color code we are going to type in 7C 6D 2C and that's just the color I picked and uh, then we change the opacity to 23 and then we change the angle to a 117 degrees then uh, we change this, uh, the distance to 3, spread to 3 and the size to 1 and uh, this looks good and we take this layer knocks out drop shot and so that looks that's all for a rough shadow then we go to inner shadow and uh, we take the blend mode to not multiply and for the color again we're gonna pick a color called 726415 and uh, we click on OK and for the pass we're gonna lower it down to like 45 to, uh, uh, 45 for the angle we're gonna take 108 degrees and uh, this is going to be 505 and the noise to zero and uh, that's that for the inner shadow and I'm moving up then we're gonna go to inner glow and uh, we change this color to uh, uh, let's see type in FFE double seven five hit OK and for the blend mode we're gonna change that to screen and for the opacity we're gonna do that to 18 set the noise to zero it's already and for technique, we're going to change that from softer to precise and I'll leave this to edge. Then uh, we'll go over here for choke, type in 15. For the side, we'll let it be 5. And for the range, uh, we'll just increase it a bit to 56. And uh, then we're going to go over to bevel and emboss. 
and uh, we change this to inner bevel and uh, smooth looks good and uh, we, for the depth we're going to type in 241 and uh, for the size lower it down just a bit to 4 for the soften put it up to 2 for the angle we're going to type in 120 degrees for the altitude it is 30 degrees and uh, for the, this highlight mode it's going to be linear dodge better known as add and uh, this is going to be 40 the opacity this is going to be multiply and again we're picking some colors so we hit 4a 3d 05 hit ok and uh, and uh, finally we're going to take in anti aliased and uh, then we're going to go over to the contour and uh, this is easy we're going to change the range to 53 and for the contour we're going to select the second one right here and uh, we'll take anti aliased then let's move on to satin and uh, to change the blend mode to multiply it already is we change the color leave it to black then we go to opacity and uh, change that to 11 we go to angle change that to 102 degrees we go to distance change that to 4 the size goes down to 7 and for the contour I'm sorry we're gonna select um, uh, let's see, we're going to select this one right here. The, so in the second row, we have the second one right here. And uh, that was cool. And that's just for the second. Then let's move on to gradient overlay. And uh, remember, I've not met with, experimented with this. And I've just noted it down somewhere. So we go to gradient, gradient selector. And uh, we select the second gradient that's transparent. And for the first color, we pick black. And uh, and uh, you see this top one right here. We're gonna move it to somewhere maybe here. And uh, we click on OK. And uh, then we go over in style and select linear. Like linear looks good. For the angle, we're gonna leave it to 90. And for the scale, we're gonna leave it to 100%. And uh, oh yeah, one last thing. If you wanna go to the gradient and select the top one here, and the opacity is set to 30 degrees. 30 percent actually okay and uh, that's that for these we hit okay and in the fill if we change that to zero we have a very cool effect going on here and uh, we can move it around it's kind of transparent and uh, it looks so cool there. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna grab the text tool once again and uh, this time we're gonna type in opinion oops opinion Opinion, and uh, we position it maybe here and then what we do is go to own and right click and I'll go to copy layer style and I'll go here and I right click paste layer style and uh, that way we create the exactly same look and uh, yes that's that we go to file save as to the desktop or name it chameleon whoops Sorry, save as chameleon and uh, JPEG. Hit save, maximum quality. Hit OK, and uh, there you have it. Your very own chameleon effect, and uh, you can use these uh, uh, layer styles to create a sort of glass effect. It looks really cool, and uh, yeah. So that's that for this tutorial. Hope you liked it. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, thanks.